You know, I want to speak to the the guys. I, I know, you know, you said that uh, 500 people signed up in the last couple of weeks. And I know, and, and praise be God for that. But I know as guys, you know, we sometimes really have to be motivated by uh, by something in order to get us off our duffs on a Saturday. You know, we, we, we might be walking around the house or mowing the yard. There's a lot of other good things we could do. Um, but I just want to maybe speak about the impact that this event has had on you. I can give my own testimony and other men that you've heard of in the past four years that might motivate the man to say, well, this is, this is important. Well, you know, um, I, I went to my first conference about four years. I think the, I went to the second year conference and I was just totally blown away by the speakers, um, just by seeing the other 700 men at, at Prince of Peace at that time that were just, you know, just and fellowship and it, it was just a great motivator for me i mean it it, it i want to do these on a regular you know every couple of months if we can you know yeah. so um but yeah it, it really changes your life i know we changed people's lives last year because we we hear about it. we had a couple of people that uh, have gone to chirp because of that you know our chirp retreat or axe retreat because of this conference it just kind of wakes you up and so um, you know, I'm just encouraging anybody, any man, you don't, have, you don't even have to be a Catholic. You can come to this conference and just yeah. be inspired by these speakers. These guys are going to blow, blow you away. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good point. You know, Protestant brothers and sisters, yeah, it doesn't matter if you're an atheist or a Jew or a Muslim, come to the conference and I think you'll get a lot out of it. And, you know, my, my, what I would say, Rick, is, you know, I've been to the four and have enjoyed them very much. I love the fellowship with men. I just love running into guys that I know, meeting guys I don't know. Uh, I also do a retreat every year called Into the Wild, and guys have a chance to get up there and give their personal testimony. And one thing I realize is that most of us, I can't say everybody, most of us are broken in one way or the other. There's a lot of guys addicted to pornography, having marital problems, maybe on the brink of divorce, maybe they, you know, who knows what kind of problems, but they walk around smiling and yeah, at work, you just don't know that. And men need men. You know, it's, we, we have to have a, a really great relationship with our, our wives and our kids, but that man-to-man that -man relationship is, is, is really important, and I think a lot of men are, are out there needing that, and maybe that's what that second ticket's for, is you find a guy who needs to be there and say, hey, I already got your ticket. It's paid for. And, and come to the, the, the April twenty third. Right, right. Totally agree. And the, the other thing is, uh, you know, it's 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 an all day event. We're going to have food for them as well. So that yeah. forty nine dollars includes breakfast and lunch, and served by the Knights of Columbus, which is which is a first for us this year. We've got the Knights of Columbus backing us up at St. Francis, so we're really looking forward to that, and uh, just. You know, it's a great event. Uh, wives, sign up your husbands. Go to the website and sign them up, you know, and try to get them there. And um, we look forward to having everybody there. Mm. 